Hey guys, it's Victor on the Japanese for Morons channel, and I one one I have a, one regret about this channel, and it, and it's that I cannot find the time in my life to put out as many videos as I like because I often see something and I want to share it with you because I think to myself that's useful and I'm glad I learned that and often there are things that I'm learning so uh, I, I get kind of high high intellectually. Uh, linguistically from learning new words so what I'm going to try to do is try a quick news clip and this is the first one so um, that's it these are going to be short very unedited just the kanji out there with the with the romaji you'll I'll leave it to you to do the work uh, to look them up to, to get more information on it but these are words that are in the news this week and I get a lot of this stuff um, the, the, well the way that you can I get a lot of this off television and newspapers but the way you can find it is to go to a n n n news ch, ch chan you know ch and um, type in the words that I've I've highlighted in today's lesson and look for them there and see if you can hear them and that's it you know that's the only thing so these are words that are appearing in the news uh, this week and the last week okay so starting last week the first one is kan kin and this is a word I did not know kan kin is basically to keep captive there's an case in Hiroshima I talked about on my Give Me a Flake Man channel about a guy who grabbed a girl and threw her in a bag or forced her into a bag, a 12-year-old girl and then put her in the trunk of a taxi and tried to kidnap her but luckily she was saved. But the word they kept repeating was kankin, kankin, kankin and that's a word you should know. So kankin basically keeps someone captive. That's number one. Number two, a uh, big word this week uh, since a couple days ago is Shutsuba, 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 and shutsuba, the kanji is get out and horse, and it actually means to throw your hat into the ring of a, some kind of race. In this case, we're talking about the president, uh, prime, prime ministership, premiership, I think they say, and Ishihara in Tokyo has decided he's going to run for prime minister, so he has shutsuba shita, okay, that's the word. And I think now they're talking about um, someone in Osaka, a politician. I, I believe his name is Hashimoto. I'm not sure. Don't worry about the details. You look it up. You can put it in, this, in the, in the um, comments if you find out. I think it's Hashimoto. I think he's the mayor or was the mayor of Osaka. Now I think he's, he's maybe the leader of the whole you know, area of Osaka, the Osaka, what is that, prefecture. But anyway, uh, he has decided to also um, uh, run for something. Though I didn't really catch it. It was while I was watching TV. But continuing on that guy... I think he's forming a new party, and uh, or he's looking for other politicians to deal with. And the big word they kept repeating, and this is a word I I I, I know I knew those last two words. The first one I didn't. Kankin I didn't know. Shoots by new. And this one, uh, it's very important in daily conversation. Conversation, and that's kachikan, kachikan, kachikan means kachi. Kachi is value. Um, kan is feeling. Together, it's basically your principles or your values. You know, as a human being. So kachikan ga ao, ao means meat. Ga is just a particle, uh, subject marker. Kachikan ga ao means our, we have the same, we share the same principles or values. And sometimes you hear kachikan ga ao anai, which means, you know, we're diff our, our values are different, or kachikan ga chigao. And you might hear this uh, when you're talking about um, interacting with Japanese and how sometimes, you know, you and I, we just don't get along because our, our values are different, so we should break up. Kind of thing. I've heard that, um, unfortunately, in the past. So anyway, those are your three words for today. There won't, there will not always be three words. But when I'm struck to um, to talk to you guys and give you something, I'm going to do it this way. And apologies for the low production values, but these are for learning Japanese, not for um, you know being impressed with. Okay. So I, again, you, you I, I leave it to you to do the work. Of the uh, the you know, look, look up the words for more information. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you guys soon.